What is up people? Welcome to the D4A channel. Today we're unboxing something and I haven't really unboxed anything in ages and honestly I'm a bit excited. So what are we unboxing today? We are unboxing this and what is this? This is my AM X series oil pressure gauge. So let's unbox it. So if you have ever unboxed a gauge from AM, you've probably noticed this dude. By the way, this is JC, AM's founder. What up, JC? Okay, now for the actual unboxing instructions. The sensor, the wiring, a harness, and some rubber band and butt connectors. And here we have the gauge. Now, to see the gauge in all its glory, we have to open the other side of the box. This is actually a two sided box. And here we have the gauge along with an AM sticker you should put on your car. Now, to get the gauge out, we gotta loosen these thumb screws. Loosen, 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 loosen. One down. Loosen, 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 some more. And. Come on. And it's all out. And the gauge is out. I'm actually gonna put this back on. Now, this is what you are encouraged to use to fasten the gauge to the pod. Very nice, simple and stable. You just gotta have a properly sized hole. So here we have the contents. The gauge, the sensor, the harness, the everything. Okay, I'm gonna start with the gauge. As you can see, this is an oil pressure gauge and it displays PSI. In the middle, you can see the value. And on the outer side of the gauge, we have the sweeping style LED thing that's gonna show you exactly where your oil pressure is at the moment. This is a zero to 100 PSI oil pressure gauge and matching sensor. If you need a 150 PSI version for something that has more oil pressure, you can get that as well. However, for most uh, car engines, you know, lightly tuned zero to 100 is going to be okay now this faceplate on the gauge is actually reversible so if you do not like psi you want bar you simply remove the three fastening screws on the back of the gauge like so and as you can see here in the instructions you can simply reverse this thing and you will have bar displayed on your faceplate on the back of the gauge, we have a single little connection, and this is, of course, where our wiring harness goes. Speaking of the wiring harness, this is a really little neat harness. It has more than enough length to be installed wherever you need it on a vehicle, and even on a mid-engine car like my MR2, there is more than enough length to have this reach from your sensor on the engine all the way to your gauge on your dashboard. As I was saying, super massively long. So this end goes right there into the gauge. This end right here goes into your sensor. And our third end has these four wires. Now this end of your wiring harness is what you're going to use to give power and ground to the gauge so that the gauge actually runs. Also, depending on your harness, this is where your optional connections are going to be and you are going to use these optional connections, as you can see here in the instruction manual, to do some data logging with this gauge. This thing is capable of data logging right out of the box. You can connect it to a standalone ECU and log your oil pressure data in different driving conditions and scenarios. Of course, the gauge is compatible with a wide variety of ECU and of course it also works with the AEM Infinity engine management system. Systems. So this is a dead simple install. All you basically got to do is install the sensor, connect it to the harness, connect the harness to the gauge, put the gauge in some sort of a pod, give the gauge power on ground, and that's it. You're done. You have a functioning oil pressure gauge. Now, if you know my car and my engine build, you're probably wondering why the heck did I even get an oil pressure gauge? Because look, the Toyota MR2 Mark I has an oil pressure gauge from the factory. Well, here's the deal. Reason number one that I got an oil pressure gauge is that thing is inaccurate. Reason number two is, what are the values on this thing? What's at the other end right here? 70 PSI, 80, 3 million? 
it really doesn't give you any sort of numbers. It's just a very vague, basic indicator of your oil pressure. I want numbers. And this thing is going to give me accurate, real-time numbers. And that's really good, because oil pressure, along with your air-fuel ratios, is probably the most important indicator of your engine's health and your engine's performance. I already have an AMX series a wideband air fuel ratio thing and now I want one of these to have basically full insight into my engine's health and as we know oil pressure is you know probably the most important thing when it comes to your engine not having a catastrophic failure just a couple of seconds without oil pressure can mean you know that's it the end of your engine and this thing can warn you in time and it can warn you to shut off your engine and basically save your entire, you know, mechanical engine investment. And this is where another feature of this thing is super useful. It has a built-in alarm feature where you can set your high and the low values at which you want the gauge to flash to basically warn you that your oil pressure is either too high or too low. So even if you're driving all crazy on a track, focused on the driving, this thing can flash and warn you, hey buddy, slow down, shut off your engine, something is wrong. So this can be a difference between a rod seized onto your crankshaft or some minor servicing if you stop your engine on time. Definitely a really cool thing. I'm looking forward to installing it and having it in my car. I have the AEM wideband for some time now. It has been totally trouble-free and works just the way that I envisioned. I expect no less from this thing. After all, it's AEM. They really do make good things that perform as advertised. So if you have any questions regarding this gauge, feel free to ask in the comment section. Also, any questions regarding oil pressure or related comment section, I'll be happy to try and answer to the best of my abilities. So that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll be seeing you soon with more fun and awesome stuff on the D4H channel.